Welcome to learning something new about Azure. Hopefully this is a commonly asked question that you have a question about and we'd love to talk to you about it some more. This is about ARM versus classic deployment models. I know when I started out in Azure, that was one of those things that it was just coming into being because uh, ARM started out in 2014. And we're like, oh, what's that mean? And I think every VM I created up until last year was created in classic deployment model. But what is the pros and cons of using that? And that's really what I call out and kind of give you a couple of ideas what the differences between the two are in a really short snippet. So as you prepare to either update your Azure environment to ARM, or if you uh, are getting ready to start in Azure, you have a basic understanding of the difference between the two uh, deployment models. The big thing to remember is ARM, which is the Azure, Azure Resource Manager, um, that you have these two models in front of you to work with. They're deployment models. What does that mean? Well, a deployment model was how you're going to actually issue out and, and basically stand up your Azure resources. So as you start to do this setup and get Azure resources in place, you have a choice. I can do classic or I can do ARM. If you're new to Azure, it's pretty funny because you're rarely ever going to see classic except for in VMs. Um, but for the most part, you're going to be in ARM moving forward. But you're still going to hear it occasionally come up, hey, don't do this in Classic, or do this can only be done in Classic. Let's talk about that difference. The primary difference between using Classic and ARM deployment models has to do with how they're managed. Once you deploy it or manage it or monitor these features or these resources within Azure, you're going to need to understand that if you're in Classic, I'm going to do this as an independent level. So I will be actually deploying um, each asset independently. I will be managing each asset and each resource independently. And then if I have to, let's say I have a whole application set that is out there and you're going to deploy it and it has 10 resources. That means 10 deployments, 10 individual management components. And you're also, if you're going to remove it, you're going to remove it 10 different resources at a time. ARM allows you to group the resources together and manage them as a group. So I can now deploy these out I can do this as a management opportunity. I can look at them as a resource group and not a resource group, as an, as an arm group. And you can do these things and you're actually able to do that. So the um, couple of things to keep in mind is the big differences between arm and classic right now is that deployment model. But you also need to be aware of what's actually covered. So real quickly, if you're using classic cloud services, um, it's only available in classic. The upgrade means move it. So you're going to have to move it over. If you're using VMs, storage, or even virtual networks, those can be done in either mode. And occasionally you'll run across something that still says, hey, you need to do this in classic. And remember that you're gonna to have to upgrade that at some point. Because the last thing to keep in mind is every other resource within Azure is going to be on ARM. And the reason for that is that's the way they're going with everything. And we'll be talking about that in a different video clip about what ARM actually brings to the table beyond this piece of management and this consolidation. But for now, if you have other questions, please click the link below for more information. We look forward to the next time on Azure Every Day.